So up next is the Moonrise and Total Darkness album from Sorcery de Glace. Sorcery de Glace has been going since the late 90s, and since the beginning it's been just two guys involved in the project. One plays drum and the other one plays guitar, bass, synthesizers, and writes all the music. Over the years they have released I think something like seven or eight albums, and uh, unfortunately they've always kind of been a bit underrated, which to me I don't understand because this stuff, uh, it sounds very Nordic in its style and its presentation, and uh, like, if someone, again, you know, if someone had told me this was from Norway or Sweden, even Finland, I would have been like, okay, I believe you. I, I mean, it totally captures that Nordic sound. This is atmospheric black metal done right. I mean, there's just that well balanced between, like, raw buzzing guitars and just, you know, subtle synthesizers and sometimes not so subtle synthesizers and just grim vocals and just ragey moments, but what, as well as, you know, nice melodic moments and, you know, or chill moments, it's it's just enormously atmospheric. So this whole album is really freaking good, but I have to say the song that really stands out the most for me is a song called Behold the Halls of Ice. I mean this is a song that just uh, really bridges that gap between like the more brutal and melodic and highly atmospheric parts. And there's just this uh, the section at the end where they're like, there's like some solo synths and then there's this acoustics over it and then just kind of rips into this really catchy like guitar solo. It's just a really awesome song. and. Uh, I think a cool thing about this project too is that uh, you know some people will complain maybe about uh, black metal or vocalists being hard to understand. Uh, I found this guy to be a lot more easier to understand. So if you know if you're still like one of those people that's you know trying to get into black metal, maybe try this artist because his vocals aren't overly aggressive and not overly you know crazy to understand. I mean, I personally don't really give a shit about lyrics. I never have, but uh, you know for those that may be uh, not accustomed to black metal vocals, this might be an artist to kind of get you more into the genre. Another interesting thing to kind of note about this record is there's a lot of very uh, dungeon synth sounding uh, intros and interludes on this record and again you know kind of you know going back to what I said earlier that you know back in the 90s black metal and dungeon synth were almost one and the same. I mean dungeon synth is pretty much just black metal minus the metal aisle elements. I mean, all the, the visual aesthetic is there, the themes, you know, the production, uh, it's, it's all very comparable to black metal. So it's interesting that, you know, this is an artist here that has a lot of those DS, uh, you, know, you know, themes and feels to it going on here. So as far as, uh, you know, comparing this artist to anyone else, I would say this is uh, definitely comparable to Early Emperor, also projects like Evil Feast, Lunar Aurora, Obtained enslavement and uh, a lot of other, uh, you know, Quebec-based bands, which uh, I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna pronounce the names right, but we'll try. <laughs> but if you know the projects Fortaresse or Niche et Noiser, I'm again probably not uh, pronouncing it right. But if you know those projects, you can definitely compare uh, Sorcery de Glace to those projects as well. I bought this, this album recently, uh, I guess about three months ago for a Bandcamp Friday, so. Uh, it was good to know that uh, you know everything that, that I, I spent on the album you know went right to the artist and you know Bandcamp didn't get any fees. So uh, I also asked the guys if they could sign it, and much to my uh, uh, pleasure, they did sign it for me. So it's super cool to have both of the guys' signatures in there, and uh, they got you know pretty super si uh, simple signatures, uh, you know just little squiggly kind of like mine. So that's cool. Also on the back of the booklet there, there's obviously recording information. Well, on the front cover we just have the. SDG logo and here as well. Cold, primitive black metal in the CD. There. Trey card. I believe is Mr. Sorcerer de Glace himself. All right. So once again, now just Sorcerer de Glace and their album Moonrise and Total Darkness. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome.